This video will cover actually modeling walls into a project, carrying on from the previous video that set up the wall attributes. So if you're continuing from that, then you should be ready to begin modeling. If not, right click and choose the insert wall command, then pick an appropriate wall type. First select the start point by hovering near the green plus sign, which is our global drawing origin. You'll see a little yellow snap marker. Left click to select that point. You can zoom in closer by rolling the mouse wheel. You can see that the wall is attached to the origin and the cursor. The orientation arrow points from the interior to the exterior. However, you'll notice the locating point of the wall is the very center. This can be changed in the contextual toolbar, which is located in the right click menu. Use these three toggle options to choose the reference point of the wall, either the center of the framing, the interior finish or the exterior. It'll be easier in this case to use the exterior point to match the exterior edge of the reference drawing. Similarly, reference drawings can be drawn over more easily by using the direction locking tools. You can lock the wall in a vertical direction by simply hitting the I key, and then the wall is then constrained in the vertical direction. Now you can specify a distance by just typing in a value in millimeters on the keyboard. Click OK, and the wall will be put in for that specified distance. You can do the same in the horizontal direction with the shortcut key this time being the U key. Now we can trace around the remain of the building using the orientation constraints and the snapping points on the reference drawing. Then closing out the walls by snapping again to the origin. In the contextual toolbar, we can select another wall type by choosing this index card button, this time using an interior bearing wall. Click OK. I can then start my wall by snapping to the midpoint, which is the yellow triangle on the wall, or if I want to put it in a certain distance from a corner, I can hover near the corner I want to measure from and hit the Q to select a local reference point. Then, after locking in either the horizontal or vertical direction, type in the distance from the corner point to the center line of my interior wall. I can then lock in the wall direction and extend it to meet the other wall. I can then continue to add additional interior walls as I stay in the command until I either confirm or press escape which closes the command. If walls are not automatically connected, you can simply click on the wall you wish to connect to to select it, then right click on the unconnected grip point. Then choose either the create T connection or create corner or butt commands. In this case, I will choose a T connection and then simply select the wall I wish to connect to. This concludes the session. Next we will look at adding in openings. Thank you for watching.